Climate, I read somewhere I think earlier this week that climate change is firmly back on the political agenda. Um, but of course, for decades now, including under previous governments, and, and tributes have already been made to um, the Honourable, right Honourable Member for Doncaster, who is no longer in his place, and the Right Honourable Member for Kingston and Surbiton, who must have just left in the last few seconds. Um, it's true. It's truly a cross-party um, sense of urgency. And I'll come back to that word a little bit later. The task of decarbonising our economy is one that is necessary, and one that, if we do go about it the right way, which I believe this government is, we will build a better, more secure future for generations to come. But, like I said, the wording of this motion I have a slight problem with. I do, I do recognise the need for urgency on this matter, and I, I do prefer the word urgency to emergency. Coming as I do from 25 years in the oil and gas industry, I don't, again, in all my time in the oil and gas industry, climate change and CO2 emissions in particular were front and centre of how, these, uh, com- how the oil industry operated. But the word emergency in that industry, as, as, as people can imagine, has a whole different meaning. It means drop everything, do something now. Now, it's the dropping everything uh, part of that expression I have, have, have a problem with. The future of environment is, as many have said, too important for, the, for party political point scoring. It's time for deeds, not words, and it's deeds that this UK government is delivering. Those saying that the government is doing nothing could not be more wrong, because in fact we are leading the world in decarbonisation. I'm not going to list the very many ways in in which we do that, due due partly because of time constraints, but also many others have on this side of the House. But between 2010 and 2018, greenhouse gas emissions fell by 25%. CO2 emissions have fallen six years in a row, the longest run of reductions on record, and last year our CO2 emissions fell to the level they were 130, 130 years ago. And we're achieving this without compromising on economic growth and and, and defying the naysayers who argue that we have to choose between prosperity and the the planet. The debate on decarbonising our economy as effectively as possible is a serious one and it merits serious discussion, not grandstanding gestures like suddenly declaring an emergency. We should be working constructively with the UK Government to build on its achievements. I hope, therefore, that the UK Government will take into consideration three landmark publications from this week and recent weeks. One of those, of course, as others have mentioned, is the Committee on Climate Change's report due out tomorrow, uh, from which I very much look forward to reading. The other two are recent reports from the Scottish Affairs Committee, of which I am a member, and its recent report on the future of Scottish oil and gas industry, as well as last week's uh, Bayes Committee's uh, report on carbon capture uses and storage. CCUS technology is going to be a necessary part of any serious plan to decarbonise our economy. The St Fergus gas plant in my constituency of Banff and Buchan, connected by an existing pipeline to the industrial complex at Grangemouth, um, is, is also known as the Scottish Cluster, one of five clusters currently being considered um, for investment by the government as to be operational by the mid-2020s. And in North East Scotland, we have the expertise, we have the infrastructure in old North Sea oil and gas wells and pipelines um, to, to take advantage of. I know the UK Government is committed to CCUS and the development of at least two cluster sites. But I, and I do agree with what members on all sides of the House have said. There is space for more ambition. And today I'm calling on the UK Government to commit to developing at least, or at least consider the development of at least three CCUS clusters to be operational by the mid-2020s, including, of course, the one in North East Scotland. The necessary investment will be outweighed many times over by the economic benefits of being a world leader in CCUS technology, in allowing heavy industry to continue in a low-carbon economy and fighting climate change, as well as being able to export that expertise around the world, an expertise that will be much sought after in the years to come. So this is how we deal with climate change. This is how we decarbonise our economy. Not by shouting about an emergency, but by building on real action on CCUS and other projects that this UK government is already implementing.